Good day, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Sister Jay here. Um, today, I bring to you a quick word. It's an instructional word, if I would put it that way. And if you're already, if you've already seen the title, it is titled, Do Not Despise the Elders. Do not despise the elders. And this word here is for ministers, young ministers. Ministers in their 50s, their 40s, 30s, 20s. And even if you're a teen and you're already called into the place of ministry of any form, this word is for you. Do not despise the elders. And this is a word that the Holy Spirit put on my heart for some days now. Where people in ministry, young ministers, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, teens alike, we have begun to build without the elders. We've begun to despise the elders in our ministry, offending them, not caring, putting them out, closing our ears to their instruction, to their wisdom, to their guidance, and that is dangerous. And the Lord will have me tell you today, do not despise the elders. I know that you appreciate the help of the young men. But the Lord is saying for you to build efficiently and effectively, you need the young men and you also need the elders. The young men will help you build fast. The young men will bring their strength to the table, but the elders will help you build steady. The young men will help you build fast, but the elders will help you build steady. These are the ones who will help as checks and balances in your ministry. They will not be enamored by your giftings like the young men. They will not be too taken aback by your giftings that they will not be able to correct you. They are the ones that will be able to see your excesses, intercede for you, and also give you counsel. As you listen to their counsel, you will not just build fast, but you will build steadily. They are the ones who can recognize your errors before you fall into them. They are the ones who can see where they once made a mistake in the past, in the days of their youth or their younger days in ministry, and they can bring a word of correction quickly, lest you fall. Your ministries cannot just be built by the hands of young men. You need the elders. These are the ones that will take us back to the ancient path where we have forsaken the Asian path that the, the Lord wants to reintroduce into the body of Christ. You need the strong, the young men for strength and building fast. And you need the elders to build steady with wisdom. With wisdom. Again, if you want your ministry to last, if you want your ministry to stand strong, if you don't just want to build fast, but you want to build well and steady, this is a word for you, young minister. Do not despise the elders. Do not despise their wisdom. Do not despise their counsel. Do not despise their input. Do not remove them out of your ministries and only have the young men who clap for you. And by young men, it could be young men or women. That's just a, an umbrella word. Who only clap for you. If you surround yourself, young minister, with only ministers that are young, enamored by your gifts, they're not in a position to correct you. They're not in a position to, 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 to bring checks and balances to you. They almost have a fan type of relationship towards you. Then you're, you're, you're a heartbeat from falling. You're, you're a heartbeat from falling. If we are going to go back to the Asian path, the path that used to work, we would, be, we would have to connect and partner with the matriarchs and the patriarchs of fate. I know the elders do not have your level of anointing. They don't have your level of, of spiritual illumination. But they have a character that young ministers lack. They have that character that young ministers lack. They have that staying power. They've lasted long. Again, I bring this word to you. It's a short word. And I pray that you receive it with an open heart. Do not despise the elders. And Father God, I ask that you forgive us for every way we have despised the counsel of the elders in our ministry. I'm asking that you connect that any young minister, whether male or female, connect them with a matriarch and patriarch of honor. People that will teach them, that lead them back to the ancient path. 
people that will teach them honor, people that will help them to build strong and steady, not just fast, but strong and steady. People that you will use as vessels to intercede and bring the wisdom and counsel of God that we would, we would be able to build ministries that will last for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we welcome back the wisdom, the impute, the counsel, the intercession, the direction and the help of the elders in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I remain your sister, Sister J. This is what applies to you. Please go back in repentance to the place of prayer, retrace your steps and make it right again. If you're going to build a lasting ministry for God. And if you're going to build not just strong, but well, do not despise the elders. I remain your sister, Sister J. God bless you and take care.